Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pitch Side Podcast channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSP. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, and receive, receive all the updates from these match recaps and all other content on the channel, including the podcast, which you could listen to on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform. And of course, follow us on social media and my site, BSP on Twitter, Pitch Side Board on Instagram. We're coming to you straight after the end of the game between Inter Milan and, and Lazio in this area in the round 22. And the important victory for Antonio Conte's boys, 3-1 it is against Lazio one week before the derby against AC Milan. And of course, going top of the table after the defeat of AC Milan on Saturday to Spezia. This game was even for the first 15 to 20 minutes. It was pretty even. I think it, both teams were trying to feel their way into things. Lazio trying to attempt to get through, um, um, you know, through the middle, more importantly. Inter were trying their usual stuff of, you know, focusing, almost leaning too much on the right-hand side of the play with Barella and Hakimi and Lukaku. Hence, it was the sort of a shifted formation from Lazio. On paper, it was a 3-5-2 from both sides, but from Lazio's point of view, it was more of a 4-1-4-1 with Cherby being employed as a you know straight out uh, left back which is not good because a Cherby if you watch Lazio by any chance you know that he's not a now to out left back because that's not the way uh, Lazio operate but obviously to deny um, you know Hakimi one-on-one situations mostly with the uh, with the left winger which in this case would be Marizic he, they gave the uh, sort of the wide um, you know position for Achebe and moved him into almost a fourth defender as a left back while Sari being the right back and um, you know Correa went on to become the right wing forward um, you know Milinkovic Savic, Luis Alberto uh, Marizic from the other side and of course, Ichiro Immobile. Um, Lazio couldn't penetrate a lot into Inter. I mean, Inter do something that I really like, which is smart defending. Um, you know, for Tottenham and Jose Mourinho in the Premier League, we criticise them for defending badly because they defend with so much effort, with so much movement, that they find themselves exhausted and they find themselves spent whenever they try to launch a counter-attack nine times out of ten. Inter do something really smart. They defend a certain space, like they leave most of the pitch for Lazio, they just close down the spaces that they need to close down in the middle, um, without really exhausting themselves too much, without running too much behind the ball, which is, you know, something that helps them when they try to launch a counter-attack, which they almost did for a couple of occasions in the first half, uh, before a penalty coming in the 20th minute, really from out of nowhere, I didn't think it was a penalty, somehow the referee, you know, you know, um, ordered that it was a penalty. I didn't think so. Uh, Lautaro Martinez got it. Lukaku scored. It was 1 0 for Inter. And from there, Lazio had a couple of chances. Um, not serious threats or attempts, but they had a couple of chances to score the equalizer in the first half. Inter Milan kept, you know, defending, as I mentioned, defending smart, defending the right zones in the right spaces. And Lazio were frustrated every time they have the ball. And the second. Goal was imminent, but um, because, you know, Into were catching Lazio on the counter-attack and behind the spaces in uh, behind their centre-halves, but because the four in the back formation doesn't really work with Lazio, uh, the second goal was not a fluke. It was a lucky goal in terms of the circumstances of how the goal came about. Um, obviously, there was a check for offside position, but Lukaku wasn't. He was by literally a foot. He was onside. The finish was beautiful, by the way, from him for a brace on the night that takes his tally to 16 goals. His joint top scorer with Cristiano Ronaldo now on 16 goals. He is as important to Inter as Latan is to Milan and as Ronaldo is to uh, Juventus. 2 0 at half time. You think the game is comfortable, and the second half was mostly the game that Inter liked. Sitting deep at the Mac and launching counter attacks and almost catching Lazio on a couple of occasions for Lukaku, for Hakimi, um, for Martinez, and as Lazio went more forward and scored a goal that they thought uh, would get them back into the game. Inter Milan catching them on the counter, finally successful on a run from Lukaku. Lautaro Martinez with a tap in, 3-1. It was game set and match from there. And it didn't matter that Lazio made changes. It didn't matter that they brought Caicedo, they brought Marici, they brought Andres Pereira. It didn't matter a bit. And also they made a couple of uh, changes early on uh, at the break. They entered the game with Escalante and Perolo in the second as Lever and the uh, centre-half who replaced 
uh, Radu, who, in who was injured before the game, Hurt was taken off, of course, um, of the pitch, and Brawler was slotted in as a centre-half, as Escalante was slotted in as the central midfielder ahead of the back, sort of four, again, as I mentioned, um, sort of a shifted formation for Lazio. Overall, it was an important victory for Inter Milan. They played to their strengths. It was it was the game that they liked to play. Even the goal for Lazio was pretty lucky, a deflection of Escalante from a free kick from Sergei Milinkovic Savage. This was the game that Inter liked. They got the win, they got the goals, and they got the top of the table spot before a crucial game against Inter Milan next Sunday. Of course, if they win that game, they're going to have a big advantage in the race depending on the results of course Juventus dropped points against Napoli so that could help they could be out of the race by next uh, next Sunday so Inter need to win now against AC Milan to have a serious edge over the others uh, of the table they could go four points ahead of AC Milan if they defeat them in the derby that's it for me I was boy the HD of the PSP like share subscribe to the channel comment on this video what you thought of the game enable notifications to receive all the updates from these uh, match recaps and all other content on the channel including the podcast listen to that on Spotify Google Podcasts, or any other platform and until next time I'll be seeing you soon goodbye